Hello. So, Robbie on the Unreal Engine for Developers Community Facebook group wanted to know how to properly properly apply textures on very big buildings. I mean, if you have a skyscraper that's a thousand meters high or even bigger, how can you just apply a small texture to it, like 1024 by 1024, without any texture loss? I mean, if you bake the whole mesh down, you don't have much room to play with. So I'm going to show how most people are doing it. I'm not saying it's the best way. It's the way I uh, taught myself and found documentation on the internet. And I find it very useful. It's easy. So let's go with that. So let's go to 3ds Max. I already made a building. And... Yeah. You can see all the windows. These are just boxes for now. And the very top building. Imagine that it's like biggest skyscraper ever made and let's go to unwrap i already started a little bit of the unwrapping because i want to speed up the process of this tutorial okay these are all the windows i overlaid them on top of each other because i'm not explaining how to do the windows i'm only going to explain how to do the building and this is the uv for the building and i'm going to make it really small but why would you do that Luos? What about the texture resolution? Well, I'm only going to use this as a mask. And I'm going to apply some shader magic inside of Unreal Engine 4. So let's put this about there. It should be fine. Even though it's very small, the, all the sizes and the angles are identical to this one. So that should work. Okay. Collapse it. And since there are two ways to get a mask, there's a lazy way and there's a really lazy way. I'm going to show you both. First, the uh, really lazy way. I'm going to make a duplicate. And let's make our material real quick. A multi sub object and two standards there. The first standard is going to be 100% white. And the second one is going to be 100% black. Applied into the multi sub there if you don't have 3ds max there's always another way to do it i'm going to show that after this one i find this very easy to do i only need two so that should be fine and i'm going to apply that to the building just to make sure everything is visible i'm going to do this so first i'm going to make this building the id one which is white and I'm going to make all the windows black, because I don't need them to be visible in the texture. There. Okay, and I'm going to render to texture. In this box too. Uh, use existing channel at the one I just made. I'm going to add a diffuse map to there. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Um, texture building mask. I'm going to save it as a PNG, and that should be fine. Uh, let's make it as 34 by 34. Even though for a mask, you can actually go way smaller than the actual texture you're going to use, because you only need the black and the white information. And even though if the texture is small, it should be fairly accurate. So I could even go to maybe... one. 128 by 128, but for this sake, let's just do 1024. I'm going to render. Continue. And there we go. 3ds Max always renders with shadow, but I think on my desktop, if I can find it, because my desktop is a very big mess. There we go. This part is white. Oh, I had alphas on. That's fine. That can be fixed in Photoshop. So I could always try it here again. To build a mask. Yes. And no alpha channel. Okay. And there again. Continue. Over the file. That should do it, I think. If not, okay. Uh, let's do it in Photoshop because that's annoying. And it's also a good way to show you the second way of getting a mass texture. And that's probably even lazier. So there we go. Open this one. 
There we go. Make those black. Sometimes the video max just does not want to play. There. And it's only about this part. That's what we're gonna need. And I'm gonna show you soon why. But let's go back to 3ds Max real quick and show you another lazy way to get a mask texture. Go go to unwrap, open UVW editor, and go to mapping. No tools for the UVW template. Render it, and there you have it. Now you can save that one out on the desktop. UVW template. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Uh, PNG, there, save, save. And open that one in Photoshop as well. There. Now all you need to do is select all these. And since there's nothing else there, I could just do this, make a new layer. Make this white, Ctrl Shift I, make it black, there, and that's fine as well. So I could either choose this one or this one, but since I already made this one, that should be fine. But since I am lazy, I'm going to just like it there, so it's the same. Since I don't, that way I don't have to rename everything. Okay, that's that. Now all I need to do is export the building, collapse all, export selected. I'm gonna put it on the desktop and static mesh, tower building, whatever. So what? Save. I changed something yesterday. Yeah. 2014, Z up, okay, and I'll go to the Unreal Editor, open the contact browser, I'm going to get the mask texture, there, I'm going to get the building, let's double check all the things, input skeletal mesh, yada yada yada, Generate light map UVs, that's actually something you need. I should have done that myself, but since I'm not showing that in this tutorial, let's just generate one for now. Import materials, import textures new. Import all, there we go. Okay, now we have the building here. My other screen. There we go. And we got a mask. Okay, let's start the material. Uh, new material. Material building mods number one. Gonna open that one. I'm gonna load the building inside here. That's not my building. This is my building. There we go. And I'm also gonna place the mask already and do I have a rock texture somewhere here ah let's just use that one I mean, why not might take a while it's a 4k texture I should probably create something else uh, I could talk about my whole life now or early for four crashes that would be even more awesome ah, there we go okay So first, the windows. Uh, I'm going to make a simple color for that one. Windows are always imaginary blue. I'm going to 1 minus this, 1 minus. Get the texture. Multiply it with this. And now the window should be blue. There we go. So you can have a separate texture 
for your windows and all the other details on your building. Which is really nice. Now as you can saw, I made one texture for the mask for the whole building, but you can actually do it for multiple details. You can store a mask in the R channel, in the green channel, and in the blue channel. So you could mask out different aspects of your building and use those. Uh, let me show you real quick in Photoshop how to do that. And then I'll finish this tutorial. Okay, there we go. Let's get a texture really quick. That's 34. Let's make it black. And now you have in the channels option, there should be image mode RGB. There. The red, green, and the blue channel. Now let's say... I have three textures. And there. Let's make them all white, okay. And in this case, only, okay. Only this part should be visible on this channel. And then there's this part that should be, should be here. And there's this one that has a texture over here, there, okay. I'm gonna get the first one, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it in the red channel, there. I'm gonna get the second one, copy it, paste it in the green channel, there. The last one, copy it, and paste it in the blue channel. So now I have three masks. The, art, the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. And these can all be used separately. You could even combine them and actually invert them to show all the other non-selected parts. And this way you can have three or more, depending on how many masks you make, um, sections, masks, for your whole mesh. That way you could actually use seamless textures or other textures and combine those all in one shader. So, okay, let's do this. And uh, now we are gonna apply uh, world aligned texture. For normal maps, you need world aligned normal. Keep that in mind. Then I'm not using this. And this needs to be a texture object for that. So I'm gonna plug that in. And for the texture size, I want 1024. Or whatever you're comfortable with and this texture is seamless and that's going to do something cool later on i'm going to multiply that by the mask everything that's black will not be visible everything that's white will have the same value as whatever this outputs so only on this part this texture will be shown i'm going to apply it to this and i'm going to combine those two by adding them and putting them in the base color. There you go. So even though your whole mesh, has the whole building, has this small tiny speckle here for the whole big building, you can apply a simple texture for all of it. I mean, I can go to 512 and it will be even smaller, as you can see. But I can also make it bigger. And this is a great way to optimally use texture space. This will not increase draw calls, so that's fine. It might increase a little bit of the CPU buffer, GPU buffer, but it's minimal. And that way you can make easily separate things. That's it. I could show you some additional things, but I think this should show you enough for now. I hope it helps. If you have more questions, definitely ask me or someone else, and yeah, take care.